Hey, what's up, family? Welcome to the process of accessing the peace within you. So this is the first section that we're going to cover. So as you, uh, well, you may not know because I haven't shared it yet. Um, so basically, this is just basically going to be a walkthrough. Um, I'm not really going to give you a task. Um, usually like I do my other processes, um, you know, unless God put on my heart for you to do it. And if it is, then I'll put it in the description below. But for the most part, we're just going to just, you know, do a walkthrough of what accessing your peace look like. As you see, the video will be accessible to you whenever, you, you know, you feel like you need it. And, you know, if you feel like you need to take notes, please take notes um, so you can take it with you wherever you go. All right. So, uh, so the first section we're going to cover quickly is a deeper look inside peace. All right. So I'm just going to um, pretty much read off to you what I've you know constructed together that will help you in the process of going forward of accessing the peace within you. All right. So peace. If you have Jesus, you have peace. According to John chapter 16, verse 33, you just have to access it. You won't find peace outside of yourself. Sure, you can go to scheduled locations where you're most likely to access this peace, but understand this peace you already have. Getting away on a miniature vacation, vacay, watching the sunset or sunrise on a lake or beach to tap in is beautiful, but understand Away from those therapeutic places at those scheduled times, you already have peace because peace is inside of you. I want you to think about this. The peace that you're seeking doesn't come from those places at those times. It's just that you're able to tap into that peace because you are away from those distractions of everyday life. You're away from the world and everything that steals your peace, like bills, stress from work, certain people you have to deal with, you name it. Those are your distractions. When you're away from those distractions, now you can kick back and focus on your inner peace that will come natural. And that's how we're able to finally kick back and relax in the, G in the thing Jesus Christ left with us. And that's peace, according to John 14, 27. No longer let what's external block or interfere with what's internal. And that's your peace. In the words of the great Trent Shelton, protect your peace. John chapter 14, 27, um, reference um, scripture. Um, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And don't be afraid. So sound like Jesus knew because we will have trouble in this world. We was going to need his peace. All right. Jesus told his disciples, peace I leave with you, peace I give you. So if you have Christ, you have that peace, as I shared with you last week. He also told them, John 16, 33, which is the first um, scripture that that um, um, that I I named. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Everything we go through in life is by design. He said, in this world you will have trouble. Whatever that trouble is, we should expect it as we go through life. It's going to come. For him to say, peace, I leave with you, he know that we're going to need it because of the troubles, the hardships, and the ups and downs that comes, that um, that's to come in life. He have given us something for although we're going through it and are going to encounter it, he has given us something so that we'll be okay in the midst of it. He has given us something that'll help us not lose hope. If we hold on to it, access it, and function in it, then we'll be able to persevere and get on the other side of the troubles. He has given us something for when things are falling apart around us, we hold and keep it together. He has given us something so we won't have to stress about what we do not have control of and not knowing the outcome of something. He has given us something that surpasses our understanding. 
and that's peace. Philippians 4, 7, and the peace of God, which surpasses our understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. With this peace, we never have to worry, fear, or doubt because our faith is in Jesus. Having faith is not saying, Lord, having, having faith is saying, Lord, in spite of, I trust you, let your will be done. So the only way we have this peace, have access to this peace, um, is by having Jesus, by accepting Jesus Christ into your life to be your personal Lord and Savior. All right, last video, I said at the end of the process, you will you will have the opportunity to to um, get the free gift of salvation right now. Why wait to then? Because we need peace now. We we may need peace tomorrow. You know, like we're going to need peace because we're going to encounter trouble and. The weatherman, they let us know what the seven-day forecast look like, so it prepares us. But the only person I know who can weather our storms is the one who created everything, who have the power to tell the, tell the storm to hush, hush, be still. And the winds, the waves, and everything obey him according to the New Testament of the Bible. So, if you are ready to receive that peace, understand this peace you can go with, you can take with you everywhere. You have it with you everywhere you go. And this process that I'm going to walk with you, this peace that you have, you're going to need it. You're going to need it everywhere you go. You're going to need how to get tap back into it. You're going to need, you're going to need it every step of the way in life because what the troubles that, um, that, that comes with life itself. All right, so without accepting this piece here, with <laughs> excuse me, without accepting Jesus Christ to be your personal Lord and Savior, you will not have this peace. So everything that I'm going to walk with you throughout this process, it consists of having this peace because this is only the peace that that surpasses understanding, as the word said, no quote, but the pieces that the peace that surpasses our understanding. All right. And this is the only peace. As he said, I don't I don't give you the peace as the world gives. He stands outside of time. He stands outside of this world. So he see what's coming and he he gives us a level of peace. So no matter what comes our way, we'll be able we'll be good because our trust and faith is attached to him, knowing that he's going to cover and protect us. All right. So if you're ready to receive this gift salvation repeat after me you have to mean it in your heart you have to mean it for, you have to mean it for yourself as you repeat after me and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and from there right then and there you receive the free gift of salvation all right so if you're ready then repeat after me heavenly father i am a sinner i believe you sent your son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for my sins right now i receive him into my life to be Lord over my life. From this day forward, I will follow you. Show me the way you need me to go. I ask that you will change me into the person you created me to be. Transform me into the person who you need me to be today. And going forward, I will hold on. Just, just protect and guide me. I don't know what's next after this, but I'm going to trust that you do. So I receive you. Forgive me of my sins and I will go with you. Lead the way and I'll follow in Jesus' name, amen. Happy salvation and welcome to the body of Christ. All right, so the first thing to do is to, from here, is start building a relationship with him. I, I am going to provide, I am going to provide a link in the description below that uh, is, is designed and structured for you to, to begin, to learn how to begin a, a build a relationship with him. A personal relationship with him. It's a step-by-step -step process. And the beautiful part about this is the step-by-step -step process also includes in keys and practical steps of how you will, will, not can, how you will learn your calling and your purpose, as well as a few gifts that God created you with that he wants to use for others, the benefit of others, for his glory. He want to do it with you. He want to do it with me. All right. So that the description, I mean, I'm sorry, the link that's in the description below is designed to do 
all of those things. If you walk it out as you build a relationship with, with him, you're going to learn your calling and purpose in the process. All right. So again, happy salvation. Welcome to the body of Christ. If you have any questions, concern, you want to know what this, what this walk looked like, what now, you know, whatever. I'm at your service. As I said, your struggles are my struggles. And that's why we come together to get through this and grow together. All right. So I'm your brother in Christ. So just message me anytime and, and I will get back with you. I promise. I love you guys. You got this. Now you have the peace that surpasses understanding. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Peace.